Hello everyone, it's 2 a.m. and now time for that tropical update. The latest on Tropical Storm Barry. Still the winds are at 65 miles per hour. No change in the movement to the west-northwest at 3 miles per hour. Still about 70 miles south of Morgan City making landfall later this morning between about 5 to 7 a.m. Currently on the Doppler warning as well as on the Doppler radar, a little bit of some thunderstorm activity as well as those bands are now working their way in toward the New Orleans metro area. And some of those bands are now feeding up into the Baton Rouge area. You folks in St. Francisville now picking up on some activity. So right along uh, U.S. 61 seeing some moderate rainfall as well as those gusty uh, winds. So be advised of that. And right now sometimes we start to lose our signal. So here we go. Tropical Storm Barry. The winds are at 65 with gusts of 75 miles per hour. The movement once again to the west northwest to 3 miles per hour. The pressure still holding in at 993 millibars. The further down that pressure goes, the stronger this storm gets. We still expect it to be a cat one hurricane as we move toward later this morning. Expecting that landfall once again between 5 to 7 a.m. Winds of 75 miles per hour. Still a tropical storm as it moves along Interstate 49. And then by tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., the winds are at 40 miles per hour, dumping a lot of rainfall across the entire state of Louisiana. Meanwhile, here we go toward the tropical storm. Warnings are in effect for the entire metro. I want to be advised of this. We can see wind sustained around 39 to 45, 50 miles per hour, even some gusts up to 70 miles per hour. Make sure you have the lawn furniture. And also, with these winds being that strong, we're expecting some power outages across the area. So, everyone, please be advised. Make sure you have those batteries prepared just in case we we'll start to see those power outages. Now, the reason for it, because of the strong winds and our root system here across the area is not all that strong because of our soil content. So, be advised. Once again, those power outages. Now, let's get to the rainfall totals of what we're expecting. Now, Notice since yesterday that bullseye of heavy rainfall is slowly, and I mean slowly, shifting off toward the west and southwest of Baton Rouge, but still don't let down your guard. We're expecting between 5 to 10 inches of rainfall here in the metro, even some localized areas around 15 inches, especially to the west of the southwest. You see that black on your screen. That would be 20 plus inches of rainfall. And with that in mind, we have that flash flood watch in effect through Sunday. Everyone highlighted there in the green, which means we have that threat for rain. We're going to continue into Sunday as well as on Monday. We'll see some residual showers. Speaking of rainfall, let's go toward the Amy River, River at Denham Springs and take a look at what we're expecting. A lot of folks have been asking about this on my Facebook, uh, Facebook Lives uh, this morning. A lot of folks live at least along East Baton Rouge and also Livingston Parish as well as into Denham Springs. So right now, the river is at 10.52 feet, very low. But the flood stage is at 29 feet. But you see that graph, and it starts to go up because of all the rainfall we're going to be receiving. Uh, around about Tuesday morning into Wednesday morning, we're expecting that graph to cusp there at 41 feet. That's major flood stage, everyone, and that's above the major flood stage of 39 feet. Now, it's nowhere near that record of 46.2 feet, but still, it's in that category, which means if you have uh, homes, in that vicinity, in that river basin, be expecting a major flood event. Make sure you're prepared. Make sure you have the sandbags, all those locations we got yesterday. And if you can, I hope don't get out today because we're going to start to see that rainfall picking up across the area later this morning. So currently, live view of that tower cam right now showing nothing but a probably the mostly cloudy sky across the area. We're currently at 76. The winds are from the east at 16 miles per hour. Visibility holding very good. But the wind, we actually had some wind gusts here at the station of around 30 to 35 miles per hour. The same story is happening. Even stronger winds down toward New Orleans. We have a live view of that along the Mississippi River. And you can see the waves just lapping up. Uh, this is in Jefferson Parish, and indeed, they're seeing some wind gusts down there around 45 to 50 uh, miles per hour on this Saturday morning. So here we go the next 12 hours. Temperatures really not moving all that much into the upper 70s to around the lower to the mid 80s, with those rain chances holding on to around 90 to 100 percent, folks. And once again, that's going to be some heavy rainfall across the Baton Rouge metro. Once again, the latest on Barry, the winds are still holding in at 65 with some gusts of 75, moving to the west, northwest to three miles per hour, moving to the west and southwest of us here in the metro, still expecting some heavy rainfall, five to 10 inches of rain possible, as well as uh, some localized areas, 15, but in 
appears that that threat for 20 inches of rain is shifting a little bit further to the southwest, but still, that's a heavy rainfall event across the Baton Rouge area, so be prepared for that. And that storm will start to race off toward the north and east of us, away from the Baton Rouge area as we travel later into your at least a Monday or so. Of course, we keep you advised here on BRProud.com as well as on Facebook, Facebook Live, and Twitter, so everyone keep it here. We have another update coming at 3 o'clock. We'll keep you updated.